Why isn't he moving? I was totally open. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Don't even bother. I'll be gone before you finish reading me my rights. You just committed murder, you filthy scumbag. You're not getting off the hook anytime soon. That you can be sure of. Oh yeah. And what do you plan to do with a filthy scumbag like me? Whatever's needed to deliver you into the arms of justice. Ha, <laughs> darling. We both know you're not gonna shoot me. I am a police officer. I've been trained to shoot when necessary. Don't move. Well, officer, I'm an assassin. And I know how to recognize murderous intentions when I see them. You, dearie, clearly won't be able to pull that trigger. An assassin? So you're with the Phantom Scythe? No, of course not. I see. Then you're right about one thing. I don't intend to kill you tonight. I need you alive so I can force everything you know about the Phantom Scythe out of you. Before you go rot in jail where you belong. So, where's your leader? I have no idea what you're talking about. I answer only to myself. Cut the crap. I know exactly what you are. <laughs> That's quite presumptuous of you. I like your optimism. Don't worry, I'm not part of the Phantom Scythe. But if I was, shouldn't you be fleeing? I think you're the presumptuous one. Two murders in one night, right across the street from each other, and you're leaving witnesses behind. The city has seen worse criminals than amateurs like you. Ah, was it that bad? Damn. I really thought I had a good run going there. Two for two. Seemed efficient. Facing justice might be the first good idea you've ever had. Hmm. Never crossed my mind, actually. No one's ever been able to catch me before, much less defeat me. Lying again. Give it up, scum. You've been bested before, and you were again, tonight. But don't worry. After you're behind bars, You'll have all the time in the world to try to convince people you're invincible. <laughs> You've got a ready tongue, officer. I like that. The bravery of the ignorant, I suppose. Look, I don't know who you think you are, but I made a promise to find your leader and make sure he faces justice. Whatever you think of me, I can assure you it's not even close to how resolved I am. You shouldn't do that. And why not? Because you and I share the same goal. To find the leader and destroy him. What? You really think I would associate with a bastard like you? You're daydreaming. But I can see he's not lying. So even the assassins don't know who their leader is? Here's the deal. Since we want the same thing, we'd obviously both be better off combining our forces. I can provide you with information on the Phantom Scythe's operation that no police officer could ever get their hands on. There's no way I would associate with you! I've seen your kind kill women, elders, and children with no remorse. You're the worst dregs of humanity. Actually, you aren't even humans. You're monsters. I'm gonna help you find the leader. In exchange, you're going to drop that gun and let me walk free. If you're fool enough to try to throw me in jail, you won't get anything out of me. Besides, either way, I'm gonna escape. You're cuffed with a gun pointed at your head. Oh, please, that's insulting. I'm an assassin, darling. Did you really think handcuffs or some bars could stop me? Shoot, how did you- You were right about one thing, though, officer. We are monsters. I kill without hesitation, and I have no regrets. Rest assured that I wouldn't hesitate to slit your pretty little throat. If you ever became a nuisance, it's up to you. I'm off anyways. I'll give you 24 hours to mull it over. If you're interested, meet me at the bridge at midnight tomorrow. Don't be late. Sleep well. Officer Sinclair here. I have lost the target. Hey pals, make sure to subscribe my channel. 
and don't forget to share this video. Thank you.